going to start off pretty basic, talking about websites and what they can do for you. Um, they are very, very important, and it's a really good question that a lot, a lot of businesses have on why they need a website, why um, they can't use, use Facebook, or why can't they have um, you know someone maybe uh, close to them in the family uh, design their website, things like that. Um, so I just want to go over some things that people commonly ask, um, and we will just go from there. Uh, we will have several other webinars in this series that's going to be going on. Um, it'll get more advanced as we go. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know and I will address them. Um, like I said, as, as we go, we're going to get into social media, search engine optimization, um, reputation management, which is really big. I get that a lot. Um, people are really concerned about the reviews that are out there. And, um, you know, we will go into doing some um, different seminars for businesses live in the area and actually all over Texas. So pretty excited about that. So I am going to forward you over to my little presentation. I hope you guys can see that okay. Let me make sure. Okay, looks like um, looks like you can see it pretty good. So let me know if you can't. I'm really excited. We have lots of participants during this webinar um, all over, actually. So anyways, is a website worth the investment? So that is what we're going to talk about today. Um, it's going to cover a lot of different things in regards to do I need one at all? Um, how good does it need to be? Do I really need to pay someone to do it? Um, different things like that. Um, so I wanted to really just start here because this a website is the hub of all your information. It's super important that um, you have one and that it's done right, but it is a common question. So let's go. So here's some questions that businesses have that I've heard in my experience um, that they um, just want to know. Um, so the first one is, why do I need a website when I have a Facebook page? Um, that's a good question, and we're going to address that. Can I build a free website on GoDaddy? Do I have to hire more staff to run my website? That's a really good question. Sometimes when people build a website, they think they need to just restaff their entire, all their employees because they're just going to get so busy they can't stand it right away. So that's a really, that, ha that question comes up a lot. Um, I've heard, am I busy enough through word of mouth? What is a website going to do? Um, can I have my nephew, cousin, daughter, um, secretary, et cetera, build a website for me so I can save the money? Okay, that's a good question. That happens quite a bit. Um, am I going to get busy when the website goes on the internet? So the second it gets live, are we just going to have people just running through the door? Um, so here's some questions. Um, I picked, you know, the top six questions that I've heard over the years. So um, we will um, address these questions. So why do I need a website when I have a Facebook page? Okay, well, first of all, a Facebook page and a website go hand in hand. They are very important to go together. Um, they need to bounce off each other. They need to, um, you know, feed to each other, you know, so you need both. Very, very important that you have both. Um, Facebook is not going to be able to give uh, your users all the information that a website will. Yes, you can add an about us section, your address, your phone number, that type of thing. You can add some pictures, um, you know, stuff like that. But if you're trying to really... Um, give your users the information that they need when they're searching the web. Um, you really need to have a website. And then what you would do is put your Facebook link on the website and you would always drive traffic from your Facebook page to your website. Um, that is considered backlinking. It's huge. Google loves it for SEO. Um, it's, it's just really best practice. Um, you are not able to build in keywords into the Facebook platform. So the goal of the website is to rank on Google. 
Now, I think the last time I checked, it was like 68 to 70% of users go on the internet before they shop at all anywhere. And especially in our area, we're in an area where we have a lot of military people coming in and out. And I guarantee you, before they move here, they're picking out their dentists, their daycares, their dog groomers, everything before they get here. So they are relying completely on the internet and for your website to come up before they even move here. So that's huge in our area and any other areas out there that you know have a lot of people moving in and out, it's really important. Um, so um, when you have a website, it's really important that you build in the keywords and you have good solid content. Um, you're not able to do that with the Facebook platform, so you're not able to control your search engine optimization on Facebook. So um, if you have a business page, it will come up in the search engines, but if somebody is Googling, for example, dentist in clean Texas, um, I guarantee you your Facebook page is not going to come up. So um, if you've got some good solid um, keywords and good solid content, images, video in your website, then Google will rank you. Um, so again, it's important to use the website and Facebook together. Um, they are best friends. They need to be used hand in hand. Um, so like I said, you know, I'm sure you've seen it on every website. There's always a link to Facebook. Follow us on Facebook. Um, the little thumbs up sign. All that links people straight to the Facebook so they can leave comments if they want to or get a hold of you with live messenger. Um, see videos, different things like that. But it's, you know, always good in your posts to link people back to your Facebook page or to your website, excuse me. So um, that is why it's important to have both. So I hope I answered your questions there. Um, there's so many more details about Facebook and websites that I'm happy to answer later. Um, but that is just the gist of the whole thing. Um, you definitely need both for sure. So can I build a free website on GoDaddy? Can you? Yes, you can. Is it effective? Not really, no. Will it do the job? Yes. If you just want to put up a website that you're not too worried about ranking on Google or you're, you know, just want to put up a website that just has a couple of things, um, the way that like the GoDaddy, Wix, Weebly, all those types of um, platforms, what they're good for is um, someone that's, not as experienced in the you know web design field to throw a website up. Um, what a lot of people do with these platforms is they throw a website up just because they're in a hurry, and then later, I mean, every single time, I can't tell you how many websites I've pulled off of these platforms to build on a better platform like WordPress, which is what I use for everything. Um, people notice they're not getting the results, they're not ranking at all on the search engines, um, they have little control over what they can put on these websites or how it looks or what the functions are. Um, so as far, I'm, my goal is always to come up on Google because that is where that huge percentage of people are looking for things. So for the purpose of ranking on the search engines, I would suggest no to building websites on those site by night easy platforms, you're just not going to get the, um, the results that you want on the search engines. Um, so that, that's definitely something that happens a lot. So I'm going to move on. Let's see, do I have to hire more staff to run the website? So the answer to that is no, especially at first. Um, it does take at least 90 days to index through Google. Um, plus all the consistent marketing that you have to do to keep it going on, um, you know, on the search engines, which is the new content that you need to constantly put up, make sure that your keywords are built in right, um, all those types of things, because your goal is to grow your traffic, again, using Facebook to drive people back to the website, announce that you have a new website, um, those types of things are, are what's gonna help grow your traffic. 
um, I recommend posting on your social media pages, and this is in a different video because I'll go over this too, but um, definitely posting multiple times a day, a week, um, really flashy pictures, you know, things like that. And then always a link in your post um, back to your back to your website. So people will click on your website for more information. And we'll go over later again, social media advertising and what that does. Um, that will be the next video is social media because it's just really important. So um, it would help however, to hire someone on staff or a qualified agent to help with your updates and content because consistency is key. It's so important. Um, if you go, you know, Google will index sites. They have these little um, bots that, that go out and crawl the web and they index your site and they crawl your website and they're looking for the keywords. They're looking for um, content, fresh content up on your website. So if they see that you have that, those, those things on your website, then they're going to think that you're taking it seriously for lack of better words and get you, um, get you ranked higher. And the more consistent you are with these things, the better your website's going to come up on the search engines. Um, especially being built on platforms like WordPress, WordPress goes hand in hand with um, the search engines. So when you do add content, it recognizes it better. I can get technical here, but I'm just going to be general. Um, it recognizes it better than if it's just a drag and drop type of GoDaddy site um, by far. So um, that is definitely that. So um, I've had people say, do I need to hire new people like right now? Once I go live, you know, I've got people ready to go and people when they think that way is, you know, get disappointed because you start small when you have a new website and then you grow. So, um, especially if you have an online store, the more traffic you are control, you're in control over how much traffic you get to your website by how consistent you are with marketing your website. So, if it's up there on the internet and it's just static and it just doesn't get touched and doesn't get messed with ever, then it's just going to stay out there on the website and it's on the search engines and in the internet world. And it's really not going to, you know, it's not going to move because Google just kind of assumes that you're not really serious about it. So moving on. Word of mouth. Oh my gosh, I hear that so often. Um, oh, you know, my, my family's been around this town forever. We know everybody. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't need a website because I don't want to get too busy because I'm already too busy. Well, I think our goal and when you have a business is to grow no matter what. I don't know why anybody would want to just stay where they are, be content where they are. I think always growing your business is important. And if there's literally almost 70% of consumers that go online before they do business with a company, think of how many people you're missing out on. You're just sticking with the people that you know, or that, you know, is friends with your mom or, or things like that. Um, referrals, word of mouth. I mean, it is, it is like really important that you get out there and um, you're online so you can capture some of the 70% of people that are going, that are searching the web for their, for the businesses they want to do business with. Um, so that, that's really, really important. Um, plus when people are talking about your business, they're not going to relay the information um, better than you would. And having a website up, you will, you'll be able to um, put up information on how you started your business, all the pictures, um, what you're about, what sets you apart from the competition. All, that's, all those types of things are just, are really important. And someone just referring you or talking about your business, they're not going to know that information. But what they could say is, oh, I use um, ABC Dental here's their website. You'll find out all about them on their website. So they can still refer you, you know, as far as word of mouth goes, but always give them a business card with your website on it, you know, things like that. Cause it, you drive traffic to your website. That's great way to do it. 
not to mention the users are going to get accurate information and you will grow. You will definitely grow. Having your um, website address on everything. I mean, some people wrap their cars and have their website on there. They have business cards, brochures, um, obviously the social media platforms, all of them. Everything is intended to drive traffic back to the website, which creates um, Google points, bonus points. And again, Google loves it. So um, as far as the answer to this question, um, don't miss out on that huge percentage of people that go online and um, always want to grow and, and improve and do better in your business and, and um, you know, create more customers and just be productive and do better. I always encourage that. And people talking about your business, again, will not give accurate information. You want to put all the information that someone's going to need online so they can make their decision at 10 o'clock at night or whenever you're not open because your website will be available all the time for them to look up. Um, they can get in contact with you straight from your website and um, you know the next day you can give them a call. So lead generation on the website is, is really important as well. So next. So can I have my nephew build a website for me? Um, technically, you want someone that is going to know what they're doing so you, so you can actually take advantage of, of what the search engines are looking for. If you have um, you know, somebody in your family or friend build you a website, you know, again, using like the GoDaddy and Wix, et cetera, platforms, um, it's just not, you're just not going to benefit from it. Um, yes, you may save money, but in the long run, it's costing you money because you're missing out on so much that you could, you could grab onto. Um, so having someone qualified to build your website, super important. Um, definitely uh, want someone that understands keywording and content and video and picture and how important all those things are with the current Google algorithms. Um, what, a cur what a Google algorithm is, is Google has criteria that they set out there and they're um, putting it out there for developers to know. So when their algorithm changes, um, developers will know that they, they change. So when their requirements change, we would know so we can build our websites to match what they're requiring, basically. Um, the algorithm is a rhythm that they use to pull which websites to page one or page two or whatever page. Um, so it's important that somebody that's building your website understands that and um, will actually build your website to match up with what the current algorithm is. I know that's technical, I'm sorry, but I'm trying to make it as easy as possible. So always make sure that a professional company um, and you have the login credentials to your domain and hosting accounts. Um, I've done multiple <laughs> investigations on people that say, I don't have my domain login. I don't have my hosting login. So a lot of times we have to either start over from scratch Again, we'll take you back to the beginning of the 90 days of indexing, um, which is fine. That's fine, and I've done it, and it's it's perfectly fine. You just kind of drive your existing traffic to the new website, and it indexes pretty quick. Um, but getting that old website off the search engines is difficult if you do not have someone cooperating with you to take it down. So then it's really confusing for the user because they've got two websites out there on the search engines and they don't really know which one is right. So, so that's been a challenge before. So that's just a bit of advice. If you do have somebody um, creating a website for you, you definitely need to make sure that you have access um, and your login credentials to your domain and hosting, especially the domain. The domain is um, like your life. I mean, protect it with your life. It's so important. Um, the website um, that's created needs to have aspects that grab the search engines 
um, and the user's um, attention. So if someone's building a website and it looks like the Las Vegas Strip, it's got just pictures of flashing GIF images and animation everywhere and, and music playing and things like that, it is going to seriously terrify someone. They're just going to close it immediately. Um, so I, I actually have come across that a couple times where someone actually loved their website and it was just very busy and loud and like literally loud. When you went to it, it was playing um, you know, like a music all of a sudden and flashing lights. I mean, people think that's spam. So part of um, what Google, their little algorithms is if you have a high bounce rate, um, and I'm going to get into a video later about um, analytics because that's also important. Um, but you don't want people to go to your website and leave right away because then Google marks you down for that. So that's, um, you want somebody, what Google does like is if you have somebody going to your website and they spend, you know, three or four minutes looking through your content and your blogs and your pictures and your videos and um, you capture them to keep them on the site, Google likes that. So they judge you for that. So if you, um, and it also definitely needs to be mobile friendly. I can't speak enough about being mobile friendly. Um, mobile friendly websites are a requirement by Google. They will penalize you if it is not mobile friendly. And a lot of these um, drag and drop platforms are not mobile friendly. So um, you get you get penalized for that too. So you don't want to do that. Um, so as far as having somebody build the website for you that is not a qualified website builder, um, you you could be just kind of wasting your time. Um, it's kind of worth it to find someone that really understands, um, you know, how websites work and all all the things that go into it, you know, with with Google and everything. So, um, again, that's what I recommend there. So, am I going to get busy when the website goes on the internet? Um, I've had this question quite a few times. Um, is it likely? No. It would be nice if you just posted a website and people just, you know, came busting through the door. Um, <laughs> but it does take consistency with marketing to grow the traffic and to get indexed by the search engines. Um, that is what is going to, you know, grow your business. It's just not overnight. Um, you don't, you know, you don't, you won't get busy immediately. No. So it will take some time. So whoever's building your website, um, you know, give them some time to get it going indexed, um, content, the more content, the better, um, someone that's building your website will know how to organize that content. So it's, um, user friendly on the, on the website. So, um, so it's, it's easy for the user. Um, so a professional, excuse me, a professional agency will be able to grow um, your business online. So all the traffic that's needed and all the consistency with marketing, you know, professional agency will be able to help you with that. Um, we as professionals know that you've got a business to run and you do not have time to blog every day and post on social media and drive traffic back to the website and use hashtags and all those types of things. I mean, we completely understand and that's what we're here for is to help with that. Um, and you get results so much faster than if you try to do it yourself because you don't want to break that, um, that consistency that you're trying to go with because you got really busy for a couple weeks and, oh, I haven't updated anything because it's, you know, I've just been busy. Um, so a professional agency will help with all of that. Um, I highly recommend um, working with one, you know, for your website and your internet marketing. Um, the goal is to capture that 70% of consumers that shop online before they do business with someone else to make your business grow. So uh, as you go through this and um, you know you put up a new website and you're doing you're can do it being consistent with everything, that is what the goal is. So you want to kind of figure out what your demographic is, who you're trying to reach, and then you market to that demographic. So if you're a lawyer, 
um, a law office, you are not going to market the same as a daycare at all or a bridal shop. You know, can you imagine using Pinterest for a lawyer's office? That wouldn't really ma make sense. So um, whoever you're working with um, and whenever you're coming up with your marketing plans, just think about who you're trying to reach and who you're trying to talk to. Um, that also goes hand in hand with um, uh, color schemes and the feel that you get when you go to the website. So if you are a bridal shop, would you want to go to the website and see you know, fluorescent pink and green <laughs> images? No, it would probably be a softer, you know, pretty script font, fonts, um, you know, different things like that. So that's kind of what you want to think of when you're coming up with your marketing plan. Um, so you can get busy from your website. Um, this will happen eventually. It will happen eventually. It's too big of a percentage to ignore. Um, you know, if this was 20 years ago and people were just starting to come out with some internet marketing here and there, um, the scale is just growing so fast. Um, the number of people that are uh, online looking for businesses and the fact that the mobile numbers have, I mean, they're just huge. That's why Google made mobile um, websites required because they just could not ignore all these numbers. It was, it was just too much to ignore. Um, the average person is so busy, have busy lifestyles to where, um, you know, they're on their lunch break and they're searching, you know, their phone for, you know, a doctor. So they have only a few minutes. So that's why nobody ever goes past page two of the search engines. I mean, have you ever searched something and gone to page five or six and called somebody? If you have, leave me a comment because you're a pretty patient person. A lot of people are not that patient. Statistically, people are not that patient. So that's why um, when we're trying to get your website to make you busy, the consistency is just um, so important. Can't, I can't speak enough about that. Okay, so those are the questions that um, I get quite a bit as far as websites go. Um, and I'm going to be doing um, different webinars on all these aspects. But what I wanted to put up here is a, um, a graph that kind of shows you that your website is like the number one. That is, it, I mean, it's your online storefront. Um, I've told people before, would you leave trash in the front lobby of your storefront? No, absolutely not. So you want your, you want to treat your website and keep it as clean and as informative and as user friendly as you would when somebody walks into your place of business. Um, this graph here is showing all the different things that, that will make your business grow. Um, we'll start with email. Okay. In your email signature, you can put your domain your domain to your website. So people, every time you email them, they know where your website is. So you can even say, check my link below um, for appointment times or pictures or anything. Um, you can do email blasts out to drive traffic back to your website, um, which is really important. So um, that's a whole nother video is email marketing. It's really, really good stuff. Um, but always in your emails, you want to put your website so people always know that. I mean, it's important. It's as important to put your web address um, as it is the name of your business. So hashtags media. So hashtagsmedia.com goes right underneath it every single time because I want people to go there and know what we're about. Um, so good site, code and setup. That's what I've been talking about. Um, that is what is going to make your website rank. If you don't have that, it's not going to rank, period. So if you don't um, care about coming up on Google, then you can just leave that alone because that's what it's going to take for your website to come up. Um, great content. The current algorithm for Google, um, they read content. So um, relevant um, informative content is, is really the number one right now on, on what what Google's looking for on a website. So um, if you are a bridal shop, um, doing a blog every few days on 
different things. It could be anything, picking flowers for your wedding, anything that is going to be wedding related because that's relevant will help. And then you post that to your social media page, linking back to your website. I know it's like this big puzzle, but um, that's the best I can do <laughs> to explain it. Um, outbound links, um, otherwise known as backlinking. Um, anytime that your web address is on an external site, um, that's considered backlinking. So for example, if you have um, directories out there, um, Yelp, uh, yp.com, anything like that, every time there's a link to your website, it's considered a backlink or an inbound link. And that really, they count how many, how many links there are out there that goes to your website. So it is really important that um, you make sure that all your directories are accurate and that you have your website link in all of those directories. Um, not to mention your social media pages, all of those are considered backlinks. So Google Local, Google Business is what it's called, Yahoo, et cetera. Um, I'm sure that you've seen, if you Google something on the right-hand side, there's a box that has your business information, pictures, a map, um, your hours, all those types of things. You need to make sure that your Google Business page is claimed. Um, and that it is updated because that is huge. If you don't have that and somebody Googles your business, it's just going to be a big white screen on the right hand side. And that's, you don't want that because that, that area is for you and it's free. So, um, that's important to make sure is updated. I, um, am more than happy to help someone, um, with that information and how to do it. It just is a process of claiming your business. So if you go to, um, business.google.com and um, you type in the name of your business it will come up and then what will happen is they will send you a postcard in the mail with a code on it and it usually takes about five to seven days then you go back into your Google login you put that code and then you're verified I know it seems like quite a process because a lot of people get those postcards and they throw them out and think they're you know trash or advertisement but it's actually super important for your online marketing efforts to, to get your business claimed. Um, if anyone needs help with that, please let me know. Um, performance monitoring and feedback. So um, there will be a video on Google Analytics and how to read those. Um, they are sort of technical, um, but you want to kind of see where your traffic is coming from, where it's not coming from, where you need to work on some more. Um, those types of things. You can see, you know, if it's men, women, what age groups are coming to your website. That way you know who your demographic is and you can push more things out to that demographic. Um, so look, look forward to those videos. I'm going to um, definitely have one on Google Analytics so people can learn. Um, blogging goes right along with great content. Um, the more blogs you have, the more Google understands that you're updating your website. Um, even if you see articles out there that you, um, that you like from someone else, as long as you cite the source, um, you know, that's fine. Just, you don't want to do that too often because, um, they want you to have your own content up there and your, you know, in your own words. So, um, if you do use other people's stuff, it has to be cited or you can get in trouble. You don't want that. Um, but again, I wouldn't recommend doing that too often because um, Google will know. I mean, it's just a computer system. You know, Google's a software. So they will know that, that it's in two places or more. And um, they won't really consider that, um, you know, your valid content. Facebook and Twitter, I've gone over a lot about that. Um, look forward to the video on that next time. I'm going to give a lot of information on that and how to promote your business through Facebook advertising. Um, Facebook advertising is one of my favorite things in the world, so I love it. It's very effective. Um, you can reach a huge amount of people. Um, the amount of people on Facebook and Twitter is huge. and if you don't have that traffic yet on your, on your new business page, then um, Facebook advertising will put your posts out there to 
whatever city, whatever age group you want, and I will go over that in detail. Um, YouTube is awesome uh, because it's really good to have videos. I like to embed the videos in the website. Um, we've gotten a lot of brownie points doing that too because Google just kind of is like, oh, you're using my services, thank you. And things have been ranking way faster when there's YouTube embeds in your website. So um, another, another reason why YouTube is good is because it can act as a backlink to your website. People can see a video and you can say click here for more details, it goes straight to your website. Um, that's considered a backlink. Um, if you understand that how this all is working, it's um, just kind of like a big puzzle and it all works together. So that is what I really want to get across to people is, you know, how this, it's like a car engine. Everything works together to make the car run. So um, it's, it's the same thing. So here's some fun facts um, about the internet. There were 3.26 billion internet users as of December 2016. That's over 40% of the world's population. That's insane amount of people that's online. I mean, insane. Um, there's currently 1. Point, or 1, sorry, 123 million registered .com domain names. So that is crazy too. I mean, um, you know, all those you know, whatever dot coms that are out there that either go to a website or are just sitting out there waiting for someone to buy it from them. That's how many are, are registered out there. And that's, that's a huge number. Um, there are currently 966 million websites in the world today. That's a lot of websites to index. So as you can see, you're right up against your competition because if somebody is looking for dentists and Colleen, you need to be doing a little bit better than the other dentists in Colleen. So you can pull in that traffic. If you just are just sitting back like, oh, I don't really need to do anything, and your competition is out there doing video and social media and, and direct mail outs and newspaper ads and all those types of things driving traffic to their website, their website is going to rank better than yours. So it's really important that you come up with a marketing plan and and definitely um, work your work your marketing, um, especially with that many websites in the world. It's insane. Um, so I don't know about you, but I buy a lot of things online because I do not have time or the patience to go places sometimes. So Amazon is like awesome to me. Um, with 40% of global global internet users. Um, more than 1 billion people have bought products or goods online. Uh, have you? Think about it. So if you have a, a store and you actually sell products and you could be putting this online, um, why not? P throw it online. If you, know, if you have a website built by a professional person, have them at a store, put your products up there. There is really no reason not to because you're just giving – um, users another way to, to shop with you. Um, you never know who actually has gone to your website and said, oh, I really like those earrings. Oh, it's not on our website. Oh, oh well, maybe Amazon has it. And then you missed out, you know. So um, what's really scary is a lot of retailers are shutting down, like major retailers are shutting down their stores or drastically shortening, you know, cutting back how many stores they have um, because they're just, really making their money online, you know? So no matter what you have going on, you should put some sort of purchase online where um, people can buy your goods or your services. So when people are in a hurry, they can do that. So, so that's some fun facts that I found about the internet. Um, so yeah, don't miss out on this, on this business that's out there. It's not too late. We can get you a website up really quick and um, work with any budget. Um, we, you know, we will work with any budget um, that will help and um, start really being consistent with your internet marketing because we just don't, I mean, we do not want to miss out on that percentage. So um, whether you use um, us or someone else, just keep all this stuff in mind. 
um, when you're thinking about growing your business and getting it out there online, um, we, we would definitely love to sit down and talk with you. What we do is we come up with a market analysis and find out where you are, where you fall online right now and um, see where your strengths and your weaknesses are and see where we can help and, you know, figure out your budget and really go from there. Um, so you can actually get the most out of the internet. Um, we know that you do not have time to deal with it. So we're happy to, <laughs> we're happy to take care of it for you. So, um, here is my information and of course my website address on there. I wouldn't leave that out. Um, but give us a call, an email, check out our website, anything like that. And stay tuned for some more videos. Again, the next one that's coming up will be all about social media and um, all the fun tools that it has. So thank you very much for watching. Um, let me know if you have any questions.